Hey everybody, Randy here from RTSMobile.com. Uh, we're gonna real quick give you a quick tutorial on the allegiances for Game of Thrones Conquest. Uh, this game just released today. It was supposed to release on October 19th, but it released today on the 17th. Uh, you can see this is my little castle over here. My little level 5 castle here. RTSMobile.com. Kingdom 4. Um, we may be re-rolling in a new kingdom with our friends. Uh, it looks like you cannot change kingdoms in this game, so if you do have friends you want to play with, make sure you start a castle at the same time, or you may be in different kingdoms. Okay, let's talk about the allegiances. At the bottom right-hand corner, next to my little crow, you can see a flag. I'm going to click that. This is going to take me to my allegiance menu. Now, you won't have an allegiance menu until you're in an allegiance. That'll just be an empty slot on your taskbar. So here I can check my... Uh, you can see I haven't created a flag yet, um, but you can create a flag for your allegiance. My allegiance is XRTSX uh, for RTSMobile.com, where uh, our official uh, fan base website for mobile games. Uh, lots of great guides, forums, and... Uh, tutorial videos just like this. Um, so anyways, your allegiance is not like your... It's similar to an alliance in Clash of Kings or a clan in Final Fantasy uh, New Empire. But it's constructed differently in Game of Thrones. And how it works is it's actually based on what's called the Bannerman system. This is basically a pyramid system and how it works is I have one liege who is essentially uh, would be a rank 5 or the leader of the alliance or the leader of the allegiance, um, I can personally have up to five bannermen. So these bannermen, I would be their liege for these bannermen, okay? Each one of these five bannermen can have five of their own uh, bannermen. And it's basically a pyramid scheme, and it keeps going down, 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 down uh, until you reach the rank five bannermen. So you can see this guy is rank two, um, you can see up top, it's uh, rtsmobile.com, I am the lead, I have this crown over my little head, I have two bannermen, that's that number next to my, uh, next to my power there, right underneath rtsmobile.com, you can see my power, 98,000, and you can see the, uh, I'm the leader of this allegiance with two bannermen. Okay, let's go back to the bannermen profile. So, I don't, uh, have a liege right now, what I'm trying to do is be the rank one liege. If I join another liege, then I become a sub-tier to them. We do want the rtsmobile.com allegiance to uh, dominate and take over in Kingdom 4. So anyways, I can go and invite uh, different bannermen to join me. You can see I've invited this guy, Henchman. He is from RP... Uh, ooh, sorry. He's from VPG Kingdom 8 Clash of Kings and playing with him for a couple of years now. Great guy. You can see uh, while viewing his profile, I can invite him to be a bannerman, which I've already done, or I can request to join him, and he would be my liege. I would be his bannerman. So just, I just wanted you guys to know that um, it's a little bit tricky to figure out the allegiance uh, system right off the bat if you haven't had a few minutes to really take a look at it. Um, I figured it out by accident because I was saying hello in Kingdom Chat and one person joined me and all of a sudden this big menu popped up and uh, I figured it out from there. Um, so just remember it's a pyramid scheme. Uh, there are five ranks. Each of the each of your five ranks, all five people within that rank and each have five uh, sub-members. Um, and that's just all we know for right now. Uh, we'll have more information, more guides on the allegiance uh, once we figure that out. You can see I have a total of three members of my allegiance. And here, here you can see the sub-tiers. You can see I'm tier one. These guys are tier two. Um, both of these lords do not have both of these lords do not have bannermen of their own right now. Right? They do not have bannermen right now. You can see I am the liege here for Camellia. Okay. Um, three members. Um, one of the main goals of having your allegiance is to capture all these various points. Now, within each one of these main allegiance points, you can see there's multiple sub-territories. These are called seats of power. So if you hold one of these minor uh, seats of power, then you 
you know, gain power and you can uh, vie for the Iron Throne and other great things. But we'll cover that in a separate tutorial video. Anyways, I hope you guys, I hope you guys, uh, ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the video tonight. Short and sweet. Um, check out RTSMobile.com. Once again, this is Randy from RTSMobile.com for more great guides. Uh, fantastic community. We have about 200 members now. Everything's for free. If you want to be a VIP donator, uh, you are more than welcome to support the site. We love you. It'd be great, and I hope to see you all soon. Thanks, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great night. How's the? Uh, there we go.